turn to section 1. Section 1. You will hear a man phoning to inquire about hotel information. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 4. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good afternoon. You're through to reception at the Island Hotel in Crete. How may I help you today? Yes, hello there. I'm hoping to book a double room for my wife and myself for about two weeks from the 25th of April of this year. Firstly. Could you tell me whether it's particularly hot during this time? The type of room the man requires is a double one, so double has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Good afternoon. You're through to reception at the Island Hotel in Crete. How may I help you today? Yes, hello there. I'm hoping to book a double room for my wife and myself for about two weeks from the 25th of April of this year. Firstly, could you tell me whether it's particularly hot during this time? Yes, of course, sir. During late April and early May, the daytime temperature shouldn't exceed 19 degrees Celsius. But the weather has been rather erratic and difficult to predict in recent years, so I am unable to say for certain. OK, that sounds good. My wife doesn't like going outside when it's very hot. I haven't booked flights yet, but I must say that I'm unfamiliar with Crete and its transport system. Does the hotel provide an airport shuttle service? Yes, sir. We provide a complimentary airport pickup service for all our guests. It takes about 40 minutes to get here from the airport, but it's at least 60 minutes at rush hours. And you will be provided with a fully air-conditioned shuttle bus. OK, excellent. In that case, do you have any rooms available for the dates I gave you? I shall have a look on the system now for you, sir. Bear with me just a moment. Yes, sir. I can see now that we have several rooms available. Would you prefer a garden view or a sea view? Well, ideally, I would like a sea view room with a balcony. But, of course, that depends on the difference in price. Not to worry, sir. All of our standard double rooms have ensuite facilities and a balcony. If you would like one of our sea view rooms, there is a premium of €60 Euros per night. OK. So, could you tell me the total nightly rate for a standard double room with a sea view? Yes, of course, sir. For the spring months, our rate is €216 Euros per night. For 14 nights, altogether, this will come to €3,024. Euros. Perfect. I also read on your website that the hotel has gym and spa facilities. Are there any other facilities on offer? Yes. We have a large outdoor infinity pool overlooking the ocean, with luxury sunbeds and a poolside bar. We also have three full-size tennis courts, where we run a popular doubles tournament, with the winner receiving two all-inclusive spa day vouchers. Goodness, I shall have to brush up on my tennis skills. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5-10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. Are there any other activities organised by the hotel that we can partake in? It's just that it's our wedding anniversary on the 30th of June, 
and I would like to provide my wife with a perfect romantic getaway. I can assure you, sir, that your wife won't be disappointed. Ours is a five-star resort, which is renowned for its luxury and beauty. In terms of activities, the hotel provides thrice weekly entertainment. On Tuesdays, guests will take a minibus and partake in learning to cook succulent fish dishes with our Michelin-starred chef Enrique. The class will take place in a beautiful valley deep in the Cretan Hills, where guests will be treated to an intimate piano performance by our in-house concert pianist Pedro. On Wednesdays, a select number of guests will be fortunate enough to explore the mountains by helicopter, before being transported to a tropical Cretan garden by shuttle bus. Finally, on Thursdays, after a fancy dinner, we provide a spectacular fireworks display, which guests can view from the comfort of a cable car. Oh wow! That all sounds absolutely wonderful. I shall book the room now. And then I need to look at flights so as not to become extortionate. Would you like to take my details now or later? That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Three on page eighty six. Section two. You will hear a radio interview about an upcoming fair. First, you have some time to look at questions eleven to fourteen on page one hundred and twenty four. As you listen to the first part of the talk, answer questions eleven to fourteen. Good afternoon, and welcome to City Hour, the radio show that brings you all the latest information about events in and around our city. Today, we have with us Cynthia Smith, who is heading up this year's City Fair. Cynthia, would you start by giving us some of the basic information about the fair? Where will it take place this year? I'm glad you asked that question because I know most people will be expecting the fair to be at the fairgrounds as usual, but we've had to change the location this year due to some construction work. You know they're building the new high school in that neighbourhood, and they've been using the fairgrounds as a place to store construction materials. So we've moved the fair to City Park, which I think is a wonderful location. Yes, that will be a great place for the fair. I understand that the fair begins on Friday morning with a special opening event. Actually, it won't begin until that evening. But you're right about the special event. Traditionally, we've begun with a parade, but this year our opening event will be a special dance performance. And the most exciting part is that the mayor will be one of the dancers. The mayor is a woman of many talents. Cynthia, could you tell our listeners about the price of admission? What will it cost to attend the fair? We're trying to keep the price down as much as possible. A three-day pass is just twenty-five dollars, or you can buy a Saturday or Sunday only pass for fifteen dollars. The opening event on Friday, the dance performance, doesn't cost anything to attend, and we're hoping a lot of people will come to watch that. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions fifteen to twenty on page one hundred and twenty-four.
Now listen and answer questions 15 to 20. Could you tell us about some of the events planned for Saturday and Sunday, the main days of the fair? We have a lot of exciting things planned. There are a number of events, especially for children, including a clown show on Saturday afternoon. On Saturday evening, we've got an event that can be enjoyed by the whole family, a concert by the lake. I'm sure that will be a popular event. Is there anything special planned for Sunday? Yes, a really fun event, and we hope a lot of people will participate. There'll be a singing contest in the afternoon. It's open to everyone at no charge. It doesn't matter whether you're an experienced singer or not. If you've always dreamed of singing on stage, this is your chance. That sounds like a lot of fun. I think it will be. I'd also like your listeners to know that besides the special events I've mentioned, there will be things taking place all weekend. For example, at the food court, international food will be served. You'll be able to sample dishes from all around the world. There will also be special games for children at different locations around the fair. Will there be things people can buy, souvenirs, anything like that? We have a large area set aside where there will be crafts for sale. This will be an opportunity to buy many lovely handmade things and to get to know some of our local artists and craftspeople as well. It sounds like there will be a lot of fun for everyone at this year's fair. Thank you for sharing the information with us, Cynthia. Thank you for inviting me. That is the end of Section 2. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Section 3. In Section 3, you will hear a conversation about shopping. Masahiro is an international student who has just arrived from Japan and Anna and Will are doing some shopping with him. You have some time to read questions 21 to 26 first. Listen to the first part of the conversation now and answer questions 21 to 26. Here we are, guys. I'm going to stop by Bergner's first. I might just get lucky today. Who knows? Some of their dresses might be on sale. Bergner's? It's a fairly well-known department store. Sort of like Penny's. They've got some quality stuff. Do you want to check it out? Why not? I need to get something for Lisa's birthday. She's into name brands. Any suggestions? A Gucci handbag or a Calvin Klein t-shirt might be nice. Designer perfume is another option, which reminds me. I have a 15% discount coupon for learners and pennies. I hardly ever shop at learners. I'm not that big on women's clothing. I rarely shop at pennies. So go ahead and use the coupon if you can. Here they are. Thanks a lot, Will. That's really very thoughtful of you. My pleasure, ma'am. Oh, no. I was supposed to give Liz a buzz an hour ago. Hope I have a quarter. Need a nickel? Actually, I don't have anything but pennies in change. Does any of you have a dollar in change? Sorry, I don't, but I do have 35 cents on me. Will that be OK for the phone call? Great. I really appreciate it. I'll make it quick. Do you guys want to go ahead? Well, wait. Just don't forget us. I won't. Why don't we just meet here in 30 minutes? Sounds good. I guess I'll just look around. Can I help you, sir? No, thanks. I'm just looking. Well, just out of curiosity, how much is that necklace? $29.99. Really? My sister's birthday is tomorrow. She loves jewellery. I just wasn't sure I could afford it. You'll find that a lot of our stuff is amazingly affordable. Well, that's certainly nice to know. I'll take it. It's a good choice. I'm sure she'll love it. Let's hope so. Cash or charge, sir? Uh, charge, please. Do you accept Discoverer? Yes, we do. Great. That comes to thirty-one ninety-nine with tax. Please sign next to X. Do you need some help, sir? Well, I'm looking for... let's see... I've forgotten the name again. It's used to make fresh coffee. A coffee maker? That's right. Well, 
We have a few in kitchenware, which is upstairs. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there you are, Mashahiro. What did you get? Just a simple coffee maker. Good choice. And you will find anything interesting. A necklace for Stephanie's birthday. Lucky her. Did you get anything? Just a couple of silly earrings that I liked. I did a lot of window shopping. That can't hurt. True. Well, do you guys need anything else from this place? One last thing. Oh no, I've forgotten what you call it. Just describe it, and we'll probably figure out what it's called. It's a crystal container for flowers with long stems. I need to get one for my mum. Oh, a vase! That's it. They should have a bunch in giftware. Let's go to get one. I'm going to have to stop by Jewel on my way home. Is that okay with you guys? I'm almost completely out of groceries. No problems. I could pick up a couple of things too. Look at questions twenty-seven to thirty. Now you will hear the rest of the conversation. As you listen, answer questions number twenty-seven to thirty. Hi, Mashahiro. How's it going? Fine, I guess. How about you? Busy. Guess who's coming our way? Hi, guys. What's up? Nothing much. We just ran into each other. That's nice. So, Mashiro, how's the coffee maker working? Actually, it doesn't work well. It was a waste of money. I guess I should have shopped around for a good one. Why don't you take it back? I'd like to, but I've misplaced the receipt. Well, if it's any consolation, my shopping wasn't all that great either. I wish I'd never bought Stephanie a necklace. Just last night, she was telling me how she wished she had Liz Taylor's new perfume. She did not like my gift at all. That makes three displeased shoppers. Guess what? The camera I bought and shipped to Mike just this morning is now on sale. It's a pity that I bought it then. Then again, I guess I shouldn't complain. It was a good buy, even though I didn't get the best deal on it. Anyway, Mashahiro, I suggest you look for that receipt and just go to the complaints department and say I'd like to exchange this, please. It's as simple as that. And will it's not too late for you to ask for a refund? That is the end of section three. You now have thirty seconds to check your answers. Now turn to section four. Section four. You are going to hear a lecture given by a coach. First, you have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen to the tape and answer questions thirty-one to forty. Today I'm going to give all the new members of our league a brief introduction about our basketball league. We are a competitive league whose goal is to promote sportsmanship and good health. Founded in 1988 with four teams and thirty players, today we have grown to over twenty teams and two hundred players. We will accept any player, regardless of race or sex. As long as they are a student at this school, there is no maximum age. As long as you are still fit, you can play. But we do require all players meet the minimum age standard, which is twenty for woman, and eighteen for man. We expect the best behaviour out of all the players. 
whether male or female. Hopefully, you will all enjoy the upcoming season and make new friends with your teammates and coaches. Our final date of registration is October 11th. If you have any friends or family that are still interested, don't forget to remind them to register by this date. After October 1, there is a late registration fee of $20 on top of the $200 membership fee. The membership fee includes a team uniform, gym usage fees, and referee fees. All the coaches in our league are volunteers, so please be respectful and don't yell at them if they don't know everything. Please attend your first team meeting on October 15. This will be an important event to get to know your teammates and coaches. The first practice is scheduled for October 18. Please call ahead if you know you can't make it. Our league schedule is as follows. There will be practice every Tuesday and Thursday and games every Saturday morning. This is gym time that is included in your membership fees. Your coaches and the rest of the team can arrange any extra practice times. Practices are from 7pm to 9pm and games are from 9am to 11am. Please plan on making all your practices and games. We realise that all the players are also mothers and fathers, students and workers, yet at the same time it takes commitment to create a good basketball team. There are some rules that everyone in the league must abide by. First, please be on time to your games. If your team is more than 10 minutes late, you will be forced to forfeit the game. Second, please wear appropriate basketball shoes for all practices and games, as shoes other than these may damage the gym floor. Third, be respectful to the referees. Any inappropriate actions or gestures will result in an ejection and a fine from the league. Last, the most important thing is to have a good time. If you are not enjoying yourself, then you are missing the point of basketball. See you all at the games next Saturday. This is the end of Section 4. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers.